Hi there, good evening and welcome. My name is Jason and what I have to share with you right now is an artichoke, also call, called Kinara scolimus. That's the botanical name for it. But this plant comes from the thistle family and there's a certain way that you need to prepare them in order to make them edible. Uh, so, and that's removing the choke. And um, so I'm just gonna walk you through how to prep an artichoke for however it is that you'd like to prepare it. Uh, you can grill it, you can broil it, you can braise it, you can bake it. Like there's all these different ways to prepare it. But I'm going to show you how to prep it so that you can prepare it. So if you'd like to get a little closer, um, what I have right here is the artichoke and I have a knife. Uh, you also can use a bread knife if you like. I like to use just a really sharp knife. Uh, I have a pair of scissors um, because my kitchen shears are broken, so these will work just fine. Um, I have a spoon with a very thin lip and I'll show you why I chose to use that. And I also have a vegetable peeler. I have a little bowl for some scraps and I have some lemon juice. Uh, it's actually 50% lemon juice and water and I have a spray bottle solution of it. It's, it's one of my, my green sleeve tricks. Um, I love to use this um, when spraying it because when you cut into your artichoke, it'll start to oxidize. And so a way from stopping it, instead of like filling up a big bowl or pot of water, you can just spray it with lemon juice. Anyways, nevertheless, let's get started right away. So when I start, I like to start with by peeling off these lower petals that are tougher because we're not gonna eat those. So just remove those. All right, until we have it till about like there with the stem, I'm going to cut the very, just like a milliliter, millimeter <laughs> off the end of that because I don't want that. And then I'm going to peel the most fibrous parts of the stem off with a vegetable peeler because I want to cook this stem because that is such a delicious part of the artichoke. Sometimes it can be a bit fibery and if it is, you know, it's okay to toss it later, but it's, it's a delicious part of the artichoke, especially if you get it cooked right. So I've done that. And next I'm going to cut about a third off the top of this. So I'm just going to hold the artichoke down and always be very careful. And I'm just going to slice off about a third. And you can do this with either just a sharp knife or a serrated knife. And I'm just gonna kick that to the side. And then, uh, once I've done this, you can give it a spray if you want. And then I'm gonna cut it down the center. Always be very careful when cutting with a sharp knife. <laughs> and so this is what we have right now. So this is the center. Uh, since I just cut it, it's like going to start oxidizing. So I'm just gonna stop it. And uh, so this is the choke in the middle. It's a bunch of fibery hairs and there's, um, these petals actually are sharp. You don't wanna go reaching in there and try and pull this out with your fingers because like I said, this is from the thistle family. So you can poke yourself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scoop out the center. So I'm just gonna use that sharp lip spoon. Some people like to use vegetable peelers for this. I like to use the sharp lip spoon. And then it just easily just scoops all of that out. And I don't really have to get poked by those pointy, pointy petals. So this in nature would open up into a, a beautiful purple flower. Artichoke flowers are gorgeous. I can grab this now because I got the sharpest parts out. But yeah, this is a beautiful flower in nature. So this hasn't bloomed because we're har we, it's been harvested so we can eat it. <laughs> so this part oxidizes very fast and then stop it there. So yeah, there is that. And then I'm just gonna show you. So around the edges, we have some unsightly leaves, but also you'll notice like a lot of these, um, there'll be some like pointy parts of the leaves that you just don't wanna eat. So I just cut those off. You can do that with a pair of kitchen shears or a clean pair of scissors. But anyways, this is what it looks like. So now what this is ready for, it's ready um, for, you can put it some, some olive oil on there, some salt and pepper, and then um, it's ready to grill and or bake or roast, however you like to prepare it. Uh, this is ready. And this is an artichoke, also known as Kinara scolimus. And uh, this is how you remove the choke. My name is Jason. Thanks so much for hanging out.